Now, choose your photo from the lineup. Uh, I'll play as this character, I think. And the player name. What we gonna do for the player name? Qu I think it's quite obvious. Well, I mean, probably not for anyone watching, but st just still. For me, it's obvious. There we go. Confirm that your information is correct. I cannot change languages after starting my game. Yes, correct. Let's begin. Registration complete. Now saving. Don't know what that loading, uh, uh, what that, like, autosave text says. That was very odd. Ooh. Hey, we're watching a stream within a stream. What's going on here? Let's see what the intro to the game is like. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Oh, I can, I can scroll the text now. Our beloved Gallo region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, just like every other region. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. With these, what is that? <laughs> Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. What's that, like, Dumbo Pokemon? Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train them do battle and compete. We call Pokemon trainers. And that's what we're gonna be. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. Miss, Mr. I'm totally not gonna be the bad guy by the end of this. <laughs> My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. Nice ninja effects. Ninja smoke bomb or whatever, teleporting into the fray. With your Charizard, I still don't quite get why. I still don't get why the cha why the like hyped up champion of the ambient of this region doesn't even use a signature Pokemon from the new region. Like it's not like it's not that hype. I didn't I didn't even get to read that text. Now it's scrolling on its own. Oh no. Although honestly, that doesn't look that threatening. By the end of our playthrough, we're probably gonna be able to wreck that thing. That Gigantamax Charizard. We're probably gonna be able to destroy that. Oh, hey, hey, Wooloo. Wooloo. That's Hop, I'm assuming. You're gonna knock on my front door? Hey, it's our house. Is there a Nintendo Switch lying in the background somewhere? Potentially. Look at me just lifelessly stare into whatever that is. Looks like a phone. A Pokedex phone or something like that. Something of the sort. Hello, hello. It's Hop. You're just gonna let yourself in, are you? Oh, that your flash new phone? Were you watching Lee's exhib exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh right, you're related. I forgot that plot point from the trailers. And the directs. Well, I mean, I guess I didn't forget seeing as I brought it up immediately. Hop! Didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get CJ. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me. We should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. The inventory. I gotta bring it. Imagine a Pokemon game where the player forgets to bring their inventory <laughs> with them. And just can't hold anything. I'm moving. Wow, that's... Unnaturally fast movement acceleration speed. 
Wow, this is very fast movement. I'm, I'm moving faster than Elmo in Elmo's Letter Adventure, if you remember that video. Gzzz. Apparently we have a family munchlax. Hopefully that doesn't evolve anytime soon. There's... I was gonna call this coffee, but to be fair, this region's based off the UK. There's a good chance that that's tea and not coffee. It's the television that Mum uses to watch her comedy dramas. See, this region is- this game is based on the UK. I grabbed my dad's old bag. The backpack. We got it. I like how it always specifies that the player's inventory came from their father, even though the dad never appears in any Pokemon games, period. They never appear. The only ones they do appear in, in, is in Ruby and Sapphire. That, that's literally it. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. Save your progress by selecting save. You can also check your location in your next destination by selecting the town map. And you can check the adventure guide anytime you want in the key items section of your bag. Huh. Alright. It's a brand new telly. Your mom brought it so that you could use your game console. Which is the Switch. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. I like how they're even referring to the TV as as a telly. I don't even know if that's like specifically like British lingo for TV or whatever, but I'm assuming it is. <laughs> it's a plush of the Pokemon Pikachu. It's super soft to the touch. That always has to be in every st at the start of every game. It's a simple desk that you can keep using even when you become an adult. Okay. Is the what's with this yellow Eevee poster? That's not what a shiny Eevee even looks like. Shiny Eevees are normally white. But that one's yellow. That's like a Pikachu-colored Eevee. With, like, green ears. That's like some kind of mutant. Alright. It's the bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfortable and puts you to sleep instantly. Alright, well, eno enough looking at that. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. I didn't get to read the rest of that. But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Have a look at you, CJ. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax, in terms of items. A Wooloo, but what's it doing there? Trying to bust through the door, obviously. It's trying to break the gate. <coughs> Something tells me we're probably gonna open it up. Hey, you silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! No! Everyone knows there are scary Pokémon living in the slumbering weald? Weld? Whatever that's called. Meh. Meh. Now that that's taken care of... How, how's about it? Let's race! Bet I can- bet I can make it to my house first, what with you lugging about- lugging about that giant backpack? Alright, let's a go. Let's a go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I like how the I can I can already just see these Pokemon just popping into view from nowhere in the in the distance. Numu Bear Welcome to the old welcome to the town of Postwick. A farming town since days of old, where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Is there any single town in the Pokemon universe that isn't described this way? <laughs> Is it ever not in peace and harmony? The power of science is amazing! Now you can battle and trade raid with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Ironically, that sounds less technologically advanced than, the, than, than, than when the science guy was talking about Link trades in Soul Silver and Hard Gold. Ironically, that sounds less hype than back then. Alright. I'm assuming we're not gonna be able to go in here, but okay, we can. Who's in here? Oh, is this where we spo is this where we were supposed to go? Yeah, I guess so. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along CJ. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? 
Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. Patience? He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Wedgehurst? Strange name for a town. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. And I'm assuming Lee is Leon, the champion. I'm assuming. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. You've gotta come with. You've still never met my big brother, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion, who will not be undefeated by the end of this playthrough. I'll wait for you out on the route. Let's get a move on. Only remember, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course, but not you. So we'll steer, we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. What happens if I run into the tall grass? Am I just gonna get ambushed and die? die. <laughs> Is it actually gonna let me? It's probably gonna pull. It's probably gonna pull me back. No wandering into the tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. What are you Australian now? All right, we're gonna go forward. There's definitely some kind of crowd going on. More tall grass. Hey, how can you? How can you possibly see me from all the way over there? I'll, I walked all the way over here. And you're, you're like nowhere near the eye, eye's view of me. How, are you, how do you know I'm walking through tall grass? Alright, fine. Hi, how are ya? Fancy pose. I'm assuming that's the Charizard pose, or whatever, that they were referring to before. They're probably gonna do that a lot, I'm assuming. Throughout the, throughout the course of the storyline. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. Sounds staged. <laughs> it's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank- well, well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your teams and never shy away from a match for me. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our skills just like you've taught us. All the random citizens that are kind of chugging on the frame rate. Well, that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Not for me, though. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. Not when you keep giving Charizard the special treatment of all the new forms. <laughs> Clearly not. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the planet. <coughs> Lee. Up. SpongeBob. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh? And these bright eyes over here... I've got it! You must be CJ, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest, greatest ever Pokémon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. That you are that is about to be beaten. Probably a few a few more streams from now. Come on, Lee and you, ZJ. Bet I can beat the both of you get I bet I can beat the both of you back home. That hop always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. And that's gonna be me. Except I'm going to wreck, <laughs> wreck them completely. Like all the other rivals. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around and to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. You gonna smoke bomb away again? I thought he disappeared from view for a second. Nope, he's just Pepsi Man running away. 
And now we're all going home. Okay, see you around. And we are back home. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought us Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Ah, so we're getting the starters from you. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Cut- what, what, what movie is that? What movie is that line from? Is that The Incredibles? Where someone go- where, where like, I think Mr. Incredible goes like, It's showtime! Or something. Just- just- that's the one meme clip I don't have. On this soundboard here. Take a- take a good look, you two! This ain't gonna be hard at all. I already know which one I'm picking. The grass type. Glookie, the fire type score buddy, and the water type Pokemon Sobble. I already know. It's not a hard choice at all. After I, after I saw each of the final evolutions. This ain't not gonna be difficult at all. But this is much cooler. Of an introduction for the starters than any other past title. Why you gonna do that? Oh no. Don't do that. Alright, line up everyone. Time to make the decision. Easy choice. Which will you choose? Not a hard choice at all for me. Back in, I remember back when Sun and Moon first came out. And, like, the extremely unpopular one was Poplio, but Poplio is the one I picked. Kind of a similar situation here. Go on, you pick first. I've already got Wooloo, after all. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, no, wait. He said that I could pick first, because they already have Wooloo. Okay, I thought I thought Hop wasn't getting a starter for a second. That would have been weird. Oh, a very different turn of events. Easy. Come on, Sobble. Come here. I pick you. One, your bo- you, you, your color palette are literally my two colors, blue and yellow. And two, your final evolution is easily the coolest of the three. That's the water type Sobble. It adapts to anything, as surely as water flows. Going with the water type? Yes. I've picked- I've picked so many water types recently. With all the newer Pokemon titles. I, I picked- I, I picked Poplio at first when Sun and Moon came out. I picked- and I pick this. Would you like to give Sabo a nickname? Why would I not? Alright, what would- and- Okay, thank you for telling me. It's a male Sabo. What are we gonna call you? What are we going to call this Sable? Oscar. For no reason. I'll, I'll just name him Oscar, it's fine. Oscar the Sabo. And we got him. Was that fanfare we used from Sun and Moon? I just barely heard that in the corner of my ears, because I can only hear it from the TV volume and not the and not the OBS volume. But yeah, that definitely sounded quite bizarre. Well, not bizarre. It sounded like the Sun and Moon Pokemon get fanfare. So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. Rival gets the disadvantage. Although you do already have two, so you're kind of ahead right now. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. I don't know, something about something about Score Bunny being paired with Hop just seems like the most like if like if Hop ever appears in in, in the anime, him being paired with Score Bunny just m makes the most sense to me. Especially seeing as it's a fire type, and you know, they're rivaling the champion and all that since it's their brother, and Charizard is also the fire starter, so it just makes sense to me. Plot plot wise. That's why I brought along these for you these Pokemon for you. And CJ, so the two of you can bet Oh, right, the starters. I thought that I thought we were getting a second one for a second. So the two of you can train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. Guess this third one is not gonna go to anyone, is it? Probably gonna go to. Okay, okay. Am I... it, by the end of this game, is the final battle with you, battle with Leon, gonna have like whatever, whatever it was called, Rillaboom at the end? That would be cool. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. 
Well, at least this time something actually gets to, you know, happen with the third unchosen starter. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Oh. What is this? Are we gonna do a Mystery Dungeon style dinner cutscene? I guess so. This kind of reminds me more of Sun and Moon, actually, with the festival that happens at the beginning of the entire thing. Whoa, where'd you get those, what are they called, shish kebabs? Those sticks that you put loads of different like, types of food on? And stab them, add the sticks to them? The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right? And we're standing in the exact same spot. You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Not really. Of course I have. We've made fa I've made fast friends with Savile too. Even though I haven't got to interact with anything so far. Then listen up. Believe in yourself. You just have to believe in yourself. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Who is going to get wrecked by me by the end of this again? What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. <laughs> they, they know that I'm gonna wreck Hop. If you think he, if you think CJ might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's he's my first rival. I guess, but I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Oh, you're in for a surprise. You don't know how strong my team is gonna be by the end of this. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a trainer, you know. Yeah, but having played like every other game in the entire series and. Like multiple having multiple teams of level 100 shinies in my PC boxes in the past titles, probably does. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be the first raid in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say, willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever battle of your life? It's not the first ever battle of my life, but sure. He's not gonna be allowed to use Woo Woo, is he? Cause that's kind of unfair. <laughs> if so, do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time. That's gonna become my new catchphrase by the end of this. Let's have a champion old time. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do. So do I. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Oh, they are gonna use lose both of their Pokemon. What? Mine better be like high leveled or something. <laughs> or higher level than hops or something, because that just seems unfair. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to actually be that. For that to be the case. Wow. They, they are lower level than me. Aw, oh, I don't have any water moves. This is gonna be difficult then. Pound. Let's start with pound. Go, Oscar. Go, use the pound move. No, don't, don't. Well, that doesn't do much. Do I have items? Do I have a potion or something? I do have three potions already by default. Okay, well then I'm not worried at all. Unless he gets a critical hit or something at an unopportune, extremely inopportune moment, I should be safe here. So, let's go with the big ol' pound. Yeah. Yeah, let's hit the pound and survive the tackle. That's not doing much to me. Fight, pound one more. One more pound. Hey, maybe I can learn Water Gun just off this Wooloo real quickly. Wooloo has been knocked out. Gained experience points. 55, we level up. Am I gonna get Water Gun? Yes! Exactly how I thought this would play out. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Sent out Score Bunny. Except I have... I, except I kind of have a... Uh, that all... Does that also mean that this score bunny doesn't know any fire moves? Because, I mean, yeah, let's just use water gun and wreck you. I don't even need to use any of my potions. One more hit of water gun and we'll be done. 
Did you already know about type advantages? You think I wouldn't? Even if I didn't know anything about Pokemon, I'm pretty sure I would understand that water would wreck fire. Even outside of the context of Pokemon. I mean, come on. You think I'm gonna be that dopey to not understand that concept? Water is, g of course, gonna wreck fire. Here we go. More experience points. Go to seven. Yes, level seven. Two level ups in the first battle. That's pretty good. You beat my two Pokémon with your one? You and that Sobble are too much. Well, I mean, you did pick the disadvantageous one. Well, that was a shock. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Cause I'm Adventure Shack. Funny Hop, you made a pun. Guess I now, guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokémon too. You all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. You troll, you're gonna let out Charizard and just wreck us with our level 5 teams? Good effort out there, Sabo. Why don't I get you all sorted? Healed up, thank you. Saving time for me. And you've got real promise. In fact, I have a favor to ask you. Complete this Pokedex for me. Not that all the not that the Pokedex is complete in any way in this title. Be a real be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you go stronger. You've seen me battle now, so come on, you've gotta let me take on the gyms. You join the gym challenge? After that performance? Blah. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting, not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokémon. Especially your friend. Before you think about getting badges, best to think about getting a... <laughs> Called it Pokédex. A trainer's Pokédex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokémon out there, including their strengths and blah 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 blah. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for the training. Right, right, we get it. Dex is then, we're on it. I like how even Hop knows that this is obvious by now. Looks like it's off to the research lab for you and me. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm gonna be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably go better tell your mum that we're heading out, though. Yeah. Will do. Don't I have to do that in every game? Alright, options. Let's check the options menu now that we can look here. Though, to be fair, I was probably able to look in here before. Text speed. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with fast text speed for now. Battle effects on, obviously, animations. If there are so many good new animations now, then I want to be able to at least see them. Battle style switch. You can choose if you want to switch Pokemon when an opponent faints or not. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. Just makes everything easier. You can choose to have Pokemon automatically be sent to your boxes or not when your party is full. Or I can choose to speed have it be manual, which is how it was in Sun and Moon. I'll keep it manual. That's fine. Give nicknames. You can choose whether you, whether you wish to give a nickname to a Pokemon when you obtain it. Yes, obviously. Gyros gyroscope? You can choose whether you wish to use the gyroscope for camera controls in Pokemon Camp. Right, can't wait to try that out. Vertical camera controls, regular, horizontal, regular, blah blah blah, autosave on. Autosave on? Mmm... Uh, I actually don't know if I want to have autosave turned on. I'm gonna leave that off. <laughs> I don't like- I don't like autosave in Pokemon. Because what if something- crazy happens and I want to reset the game. You know, like, if I fail to catch a one-time encounter legendary or something. I, I, I want to be able to have that certainty. Alright, casual controls. This mode makes it easier to play with one hand. Right, that's Joy-Con mode. Or Let's Go Pikachu mode. Skip movies. You can choose whether you wish to skip movies. No, don't do that. I want to see the cutscenes. You can select if you want to show your Pokemon's nickname during battles with other players. Sure, show. Sure. That's fine. Would you like to save these settings? Yes. Settings have been saved. Done.
All right, well, we might as well save now. Save your progress. Here we go. Done. We might as well check my, you know, ch check the stats and nature of Oscar here. What do we got? Check summary. Type water. Original trainer, current number of experience points. Yada yada. Dynamax level. Can you... Are there, like, different Dynamax level ups that you can do for that? Huh. Powers up water type moves when the HP is low. Pound, growl, water gun. This Pokemon is pretty docile by nature. Okay. We first met one another on January 3rd, 2020, and it was in the town of Postwick. At the time, this Pokemon was level 5. It's strong-willed. Doesn't have any ribbons. Okay. Well, that's her stats. Obviously gonna be a special attacker. Crash! CJ, did you hear that just now? Yeah, it was probably the Wooloo that finally broke through the gate. The gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there... Not there anymore. It's gone. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through here, do you? Uh, probably. Methinks. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful they got from the professor afterward. What do you say? We've got to save it. Obviously, we've got to go in there. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Even he knows this is a scene in a game, and we've got to do this. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in.